I'm kind of working on everything, but um, may as well film it, do a little bit of Suzuki stuff. <clears throat> I got these two grab rails off uh, eight Suzuki eight GS850, um, 1980, I think it was, 8081. This bike's an 831100, and uh, the GK, you know, it came with the saddlebags and carrier, and that's what you've lifted the bike up with on this side over here to put it on a center stand. Well, with all the carriers and racks gone, there's no place to grab it to lift it up except for the <clears throat> the fiberglass <clears throat> tail section here, and it's just going to break. Like I'm trying, you got to kind of reach your hand around and grab this bar on the other side there, and without breaking this. So. <clears throat> found some of these off an 850. I just cut cut it down to here and uh, I'm just gonna mark this cut this side into here I think about like that I should probably take off a little bit more off of this because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fit a bolt inside here like a, a stud on either side so I get a good solid weld there so I'm just thinking that maybe I should uh, I should probably cut this one about here. And then that way I have to cut this one. I should cut another uh, half inch off that one. I think I'll do that first. Yeah, let me take this off here. Try to grind it down round here so it fit into here, like that, but uh, that should work. Okay, let me cut another half inch off. Finger, I got it. Hurts. <laughs> Can't use my forefinger. Oh, this is a shitty ratchet. I mean, keep meaning to throw this fucking ratchet in the lake. It's just junk. Just double check that. <laughs> Thank you. 
too freaking good. Okay, I'm going to dremel these all up, clean them up a little bit. Come back. Just chopped off the... This, one. this bolt here. Half inch. Hammer it into there. I beveled the uh, both sides. in here and see if that fits Should work. Should be good. Perfect like that. A coat of paint up black on there, and uh, that's one side done. Now we'll do the other side. Gonna cut it in about the same spot right over there. See if I can find a couple bolts. around here.
this one's got a little bit of a curve to it, the other side was straight, so uh, I'm going to cut more off of this one. Yeah, I got to cut another half inch, five eighths of an inch off this one. So I get that bolt in there. work. This would be a nice bike. I'd like to keep this bike, but I got too many bikes. Maybe I'll drive it for a while, I don't know. They're good bikes, really good bikes. clean these all up get back to you I think I bought these two 850 handles for uh, it was less than 10 bucks delivered eight bucks 850 something like that it was dirt cheap couldn't go wrong thought I would try it Should be pretty good. Beat a well down there, grind it down. Let's try it. Like that. Let's see how the cowl fits. Like that. Perfect. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> see, now I got a place to grab it to lift it up on its center stand. Uh, lower you down here some more. You can see it better there now. But now I got a place to, before I was grabbing it under here, 
I'm gonna break this thing off. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this one on here because this one's the other one's nice and snug. This is hammered on there nice and tight so I can weld that. But this one's kind of loose, so I'm gonna tack it right in here. And uh, yeah, that's got that's done. She's coming. this up a little more. It's freaking ratchet. It's snug. Make sure she's nice and straight. Okay, that part's done for now. I still gotta, I still gotta weld that stud and uh, do that rear brake. I'm gonna tack this one in place because it's a little loose if I take it out. So uh, let's put a little tack weld on her. Some new bolts today too for the other side because I can only find two. Let's put uh, I'm not a good welder. <laughs>
Jesus, I'm missing the fucking mark. I'm fucking blind. Oh my god. This thing down here, maybe. There we go. Jeez, I can't believe it. Got a good weld in the wrong spot. I'm getting a good penetration, I'm getting a good weld, but I fucking missed the crack. Oh my god. <laughs> it ain't it ain't pretty, but uh, I'll grind that down. A little excessive there. Well, let me grind it down a little bit. Just did this one here and uh, grinds down pretty good. Back to you when I'm done.
Okay, well, I got the welder going. <clears throat> See if I can get this stud out again. I've been soaking it. I've been soaking this uh, stud here for the last month, a couple weeks. And this time I'm gonna, gonna weld it and I'm gonna let it cool. Before I was trying to get it, take it out while the stud was hot and uh, I think that was a mistake. So, let's lower this down. It's gonna, yeah. I, think I can hammer that on there. We'll let that cool down and we'll try to get it off. Okay, let's see. Let's see this time if it's gonna come out. Right here. Let it cool down. It's been soaking. Get my socket on there or not? I don't know. That went on there. Come on, let that baby come out. I don't think so. Nope, I'm not getting, I gotta apply more heat to it to get that, that nut to fuck fuse with that thing. Let me try it again. I can't see a fucking thing. Ah. Got the wire stuck in here. See, can't see what the fuck I'm doing. I don't, I don't like the sound, it should be that nice crackling sound. Not gonna get the socket on there, but I'm heating that fucker up.
here's the bastard right there. She just grind it off and drill it out, tap on it. I put a uh, insert in there. Oh my God. I thought I got a bit of a turn on that time, but nope. Coats of primer on them. And uh, I'll just give them a little scuff and put some black. This stuff here works pretty good. Rust Oleum. Gloss black. This stuff works pretty good and holds pretty good too. Okay, let me give that a little scuff. one coat on for now not too heavy I'll put another one on shortly finally got a good weld on there um, but then it snapped off even closer right next to the head here so I'm gonna have to drill it out I'm gonna have to drill it out and tap it out but my drill my drill chuck I'm trying to look at my oh yeah there's my drill chuck there. it hits the frame of the bike here and my drill bits only a three inch drill bit so I want to go through with a eighth inch first and then a quarter inch and then I'll have to helicoil that. But uh, uh, my buddy Peter at the machine shop there, they got six, eight, 10 inch drill bits. So he's bringing me home uh, uh, six inch, two six inch drill bits there, eighth inch and quarter inch. And then that should, uh, I should be able to drill that out, tap it out and uh, get this freaking exhaust on here. Cause I, you know, I don't want to run it with straight pipes on it. <laughs> Okay, so that's where I'm at right now. Later tonight, I should hopefully have this drilled out and finished up. Got those back on. There's the handle. Hard to see it's so dark in here, but now I got something to lift up on to put it on the center stand. Hard to see it's so dark in here. There you go, a little bit better there. of clearance easy good half inch or three quarters of an inch lots of room for my fingers in there so I'm not gonna hit nothing there that's good I got some reflectors coming in actually got a whole new tail cowl it was cheaper to buy the whole tail cowl with the reflectors in it 24 bucks I think it worked out to then to buy these were 34 bucks for two so <clears throat> so uh, yeah I got another cowl coming in it's actually in pretty good shape too Anyways, uh, still got to get that stud out. I got to drill it out now. Peter should be home in a few minutes. I'm going to go get the drill bits. See if I can drill it out and uh, helicoil a new one in there. That'll finish it up for tonight. I'll uh, put this light over here. Maybe you can see better. Probably a little bit better there. I center punched that stud. It's broken off in here. And then I, I screwed in a couple of the, uh, the exhaust um, bolts. 
so that when I get this lined up, because you'd think it'd, you'd drill like that, but it's on an angle like this. So I line, I line it up like this with my eye as I'm drilling it. So I'm drilling it at the right angle. And uh, I just I just pop it through. That's still there. That's an eighth inch drill bit. Now I'll go through with a quarter. You want to be right dead center with that uh, stud there, and I'm not. I'm not quite dead center. I'm a little bit to the left. I'm a little bit to the left, so, but it's got to be drilled out bigger to put a, a helicoil in. So let's see if I can get it through with this one here. Uh, you're not going to see much from there. Anyways, I'll get back to you when I get her done. Okay, I think I'm getting her loosened off. My hole wasn't perfectly centered, but sometimes that's okay, it cuts the threads there. There's the inner piece right there. Sometimes just drilling a hole through the center of the stud releases the tension on it and uh, you can get her out that way. They're never fun, especially with this frame in the way. If it was this outside one, it would be so much easier. Ah, oh, come on. Sometimes you can just Turn it in on itself, there we go. Once I get this exhaust on, then I can uh, mock up a mid pipe and then go get that made. There's a, a place in town that'll make them for you. Custom muffler place, they make everything out of stainless. Come on, you mother. So close. 
close. There we go. There's a little piece there. I drilled it one side of it, but that's okay. When I get the uh, Loctite, I'm gonna Loctite an eight millimeter Healy coil in there or an insert, whatever I can get. And then finally I can get this exhaust back on. Okay, that's it. That's it for right now. This is a, an insert kit, not a Healy coil kit. I'm going to use for that Suzuki exhaust stud. And uh, here's the difference here. We've got a Healy coil kit here somewhere. I'm sure a lot of you have seen the Healy coils before. These two little things in here, they're just like a wire spiral. And then you snap off the bottom piece once you get it in there. This is a six mil. I need eight mil for those studs, but here's an insert. The inserts are one solid piece and it's got a taper to the top. So you drill a hole first, you drill a hole through first, it's slightly bigger than eight mil. Then you uh, chamfer the top of it, bevel the top of it so that this will fit in there right flush with the, uh, the head. Then you Put the insert on the insert tool. It won't thread in there all the way. It, it, it's tight. You need to put a little bit of Loctite in here. And then when you thread this insert in, this expands. I don't know if there's little splits in it or something, but it, it, it expands in there tight and locks right in there. And this here, and the helicoil, I don't know what you can torque it to, 30, 40 pounds, something like this. With this thing here, you probably torque it to 70, 80 pounds, like double. Um, way stronger, way stronger. Especially in aluminum. For aluminum. Okay, so the only thing is, though, that... that uh, I'm going to have the same issue. I'm gonna have the same issue right here on the frame. I've kind of dinged the frame up a little bit there. I gotta fix that up. Uh, I won't be able to get drill that hole or get that insert um, in there properly because the frames it's too short to get my tool in here. So I've got a bunch of quarter inch drive sets, and it fits perfectly into there. And uh, I'll chuck this up, and then I should be able to get in like that. Drill that sucker in there. Got to drill it nice and parallel with these ones here. I got one back here too I line it up with, so you get just the right angle, which is right where that mark is right there, actually. So that's the next step. Okay, let me do that. Sure, put my knee pads on. Right there, right where that mark is. Right there. Uh, 
time. It's so sharp, it just grabs. Wish I had a tighter fit in there. I'm gonna jam some tape in there, make that tighter. And I'm just gonna chamfer it a little bit. to see how much that's chamfering at. I have to put a little bit more on. It doesn't seem like it's enough. That's got to be enough there. Okay, let me tie it up. This is going to be tricky for Pete's sake. Yeah. It's going to be tricky because it's right on the frame. Little wrench, little tiny wee wrench. Okay, I'm getting my knee pads on. Okay, I got some cutting oil in there. Eight mil wrench. Slow going. Luckily, I've only got to do one on the uh, Cadillacs where the, the cylinder head bolts are pulling out of the head there. I don't know how many you got to do, 32 of them or something like that. Take my time, do it right. Okay, I'm gonna keep screwing with that. I'll put a piece of tape on here so I know when I'm at the end, which I think I'm at. If 
Fuck, it's hard to do with one finger fucked up. Let me just check here. I set it one thread beyond where I need to go, just so I know it's going to go in all the way without bobbing up a little bit more. Oh, I got a half a turn more. I'm right there. Right there. Do a little extra. Okay, that should do her. Okay, I'll get this out and get the insert in there. Tune in later. Let's blow some brake cleaner in there and get that nice and clean. loud on my ears. I don't know how it is on yours. Okay, next we'll put the insert in there. Just make sure that's going to start in there. Yeah, that should be good. See what I'm doing. Probably don't need too much, but put that on there. Oh, this is a different, different size. Get a wrench on that. This is eight. Or my tool on that one sec. Well, I screwed up a little bit there, but it's not going to matter for this exhaust stud. I forgot to take into consideration that the end of the tap, you know, the first four or five threads aren't doing anything really. I just hardly started it. So I, I should have went in a quarter of an inch farther, an eighth of an inch farther, and that would have gone in right flush. But when you put the exhaust on here, uh, between the collar and the head, there's like a half inch gap. You know, so there's, there's nothing's, nothing's against the outer part of that, uh, that insert. I could actually grind it off flush if I wanted to, but you don't even need to. There's a gap. <clears throat> there's a half inch gap between the, uh, the, uh, the header 
so it's not going to affect anything. And once you put these suckers in, you, you can't get them out. <laughs> that's in that's in there forever. That's not coming out. Okay, we got that done. And uh, next I'm going to put that exhaust on, but I think I'm done for tonight. I think that's it. Okay.